Good morning, I'm Jane Marks, and today in Healthy Minds, we've got a pretty compelling subject for you today. Depression and anxiety in America has become rampant. One in four adults have struggled with suicidal thoughts since the coronavirus hits. The increase in concern among parents and families is very real because the biggest rise has been among the ages of 18 to 24. In some major metropolitan areas, we have seen increases in suicidal ideation in the 11 to 24 year category. The sad part is that we've also seen suicides as early as nine years of age. Our system, unfortunately, for monitoring suicides is so compromised because of the overwhelming focus on COVID-19. So for families, be mindful of any history of suicidal gestures or actions in your family. Children and young teens have paid attention. If you see your child making suicidal statements like, I wish I was dead, I were no longer here, be concerned. If they're preoccupied with death in conversation, writing, or drawing, or they're giving away belongings, or they're withdrawing from family and friends, these are reasons to be very mindful. If they begin to neglect personal appearance or run away from home, and sometimes we see participating in aggressive or hostile behavior, participating in risk-taking behavior, and that includes reckless driving and sometimes sexual promiscuity. A significant change in personality, which includes going from upbeat and energetic to quiet and contemplative. What we're talking about is a change in behavior. A sustained loss of interest in activities that were enjoyed so much in the past. And here's a big one, uncertainty around sexual orientation. Chronic health issues is also a key. Sustained trauma or immediate trauma, like the death of a loved one, can trigger these episodes if you or your families. Families, it is also very important. If they mention suicide in any way, you must take this seriously. If someone you know or family member is threatening suicide in any way, get professional help immediately. Remember, you can call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Remember, you and your family are so worth it. So keep healthy minds. Thank you very much. Uh, very much needed information, about? especially in our community. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, something that yeah. I'm very passionate about. Uh, I've spoken numerous times about, about um, my battle with anxiety and depression and the things I had to overcome. And going to get help and speaking to somebody, something that has been taboo, as we talked about in our black com community, but it shouldn't be anymore. Yeah, I think you're exactly right, and, and I applaud you, I commend you. I, I think it's a powerful thing because it's something that so many um, everywhere, and in our community included, of course, suffer from this, and it doesn't have to be this thing that weighs you down and, and you feel like there's nobody else out there, but for a man such as yourself to come forward and say, hey, this is what's going on. It's like any other ailment. Let me get help. Um, we just have to keep pushing each other, uplifting each other, not ridiculing uh, each other. But I, I, as I said, we got to keep talking about it, Mike. Yeah, I think we need it more than anybody else, to be quite honest with you, with everything that we're going through, racism, and of course, what we're going through with the other pandemic that is COVID-19. Uh, let's talk more about that. Let's get back to our big story.